whoever's behind me is not gonna fucking love me <laughs> Jesus because it's gonna be like 10 mile an hour holy fucking shit now can I get any kind of fucking takeoff from here without pissing people off But you could do it. Hey, not so bad, mate, not so bad. You have a little think about it, first of all. I've left every fuck up for dead. <laughs> That's a fucking first. Go on, Bert. I love you, man, you know that. There's some view down there, too. Your eyes on the road, you silly fucker. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well done, Bert. I take it all back, mate. This is a deceiving fucking corner. These people do bomb around there. We go down the big hill and there's a guy behind me now who I'm sure wants me to go faster but there's no fucking chance of that that's one of my other things I keep saying this fucking anyway I keep wanting to shut my um, right eye because especially coming down here coming down here with one eye is really fucking weird man you don't you misjudge the curve of the road. Oh, it's fucking. Oops. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, the reason I um, I'm coming down there with one eye shut is because sometimes the wind gets in my visor, and and the reason I'm tucking into the left this road, what I could, I should be further out, is because people come round in the middle of the fucking lane there in the middle of the road. They come around there on your side of the fucking road. So, the further away from them I can stay, the happier I feel. Because, you know, <clears throat> I don't consider myself a biker. I'm fucking no way a biker. I'm a bike owner, which is um, a, a Walter Becker epigram. A little bit of invective because he, he once said it about another guitar player a guitar player that he obviously wasn't fond of I'm, uh, I'm guessing oh, no, uh, 40 mile an hour these roads feel faster than that and whenever you see a white van parked you think hmm Obviously that's not a speed camera, but see those allotments? I remember my nephew's girlfriend once, she came down here from Grimsby, I think it was Grimsby. Stu, if you're listening mate, you might remember this because this is kind of funny. They took a walk and she saw, not this area, obviously this is back home, a bunch of allotments. Now, if you don't know what allotments are, they are like little areas of um, land that people use to grow vegetables and just chill out, basically. It's a very British thing, I'm guessing. Anyway, she I remember my nephew telling me that she said to him, Is that a shanty town? <laughs> <laughs> these allotments are full of makeshift sheds and you know made from corrugated iron left over you know and that people just found and cobbled together so I guess they do look a little like you know shanty towns but but come on 
she must have thought this is um because we're in the valleys here surrounded by mountains and I know Grimsby is much flatter obviously it's in England she must have thought um you know we're just a bunch of cave dwellers very complimentary 40 George yeah but 50 is much more fun I'll try and get out most days now if the weather stays good spring is coming in and even though I am a little cold at the moment I've only got jeans on um, it's not as cold as it was last time I was out on the bike before you know, prior to my surgery so in my rain so I'm heading home oh fucking hell these roads man if I moan about these no roads one more time feel free to kick me in the unmentionables